Here's what you need to know to get started with the Sony A6300. In the box, you'll find the camera, a battery, neck strap, viewfinder eye cup, and documentation. There's also a USB cable and power adapter for charging the battery inside the camera. We'll walk you through setup and recommend some accessories that will help you get the most out of this camera. Once you've done the basics to get your camera ready to go, let's dive in. Attach the eye cup to the camera. The kit lens that is bundled most often with the A6300 is Sony's 16 to 50 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6. If you're looking for something a little more capable, Sony's 50 millimeter f1.8 OSS is an inexpensive fast lens that's ideal for portraits. If you're interested in sports photography, consider a telephoto lens like the Sony 70 to 200 millimeter f4. We recommend investing in at least one extra battery, but two or three is a good idea. We also recommend getting a standalone battery charger so you can charge batteries while you're using the camera. The A6300 shoots images in both RAW and JPEG formats. If you don't plan on post-processing your images, JPEG is fine. However, we recommend shooting RAW or RAW plus JPEG files to get the most flexibility out of the camera's images. If you're an avid video shooter, we recommend 4K at a frame rate of 24p for the most cinematic results. Bear in mind that you'll need to have a UHS-1 SDXC card for shooting video to keep up with the high bit rates. Spend a few minutes setting up the A6300's function menu. You can add frequently used settings to avoid searching through menus. The camera's autofocus system is impressively versatile. But to get started, we recommend using flexible spot M mode. And if you shoot a lot of video, we found it's easier to remap the movie capture button to the C1 custom button. For more in-depth information about the Sony A6300, including a deep dive into all its key features, visit us online at dpreview.com.